Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce about Karnoff map, K map. K map stands for, K stands for Karnoff, Karnoff map. The main purpose of K map is to reduce the Boolean expression. Suppose if you are given with a long Boolean expression, that long Boolean expression can be reduced easily by taking this mapping technique like a K map, Karnoff map. Okay, it can be possible to reduce the Boolean expression using this K map for two variable, four variable, five variable, three, two, three, four, five, even six also. <clears throat> so it may work for two, three, four, five, and even six variable K map. Six variable K map. The main purpose is to reduce. It is used to reduce the boolean expression the boolean expression suppose in any boolean expression you are given with there may be some redundant terms <clears throat> which we cannot find by seeing that okay after multiplication uh, individ after multiplying the individual variables then we can identify the uh, redundant terms and after taking after applying all the laws like associative law, cumulative law, distributive law and De Morgan's law then only we can get the reduced expression of the boolean equation but using this k map no need to use all such laws and simply we can <coughs> derive the boolean expression okay if you are having the variables like a 2 3 4 suppose 2 variable k map means a comma b those are the two variables 3 variable k map means a b c like that we will be having okay so in this video i will tell you about uh, the minimization of two variable k map so k map suppose take consider two variable k map two variable k map so in two variable k map we are having two variables a comma b these are the two input variables input variables and we are having an output like y for example y is an output okay a comma b are the inputs and y is the output here one more important point we need to remember in k map we will use gray code in k map we use we use <coughs> gray code gray code for representing for representing combination of inputs so what do you mean by gray code gray code is a mirror code mirror code or we can also say unit distance code gray code is a unit distance code you have to remember this gray code is nothing but a unit distance code unit a distance code that means the successive numbers must be varied by a unit suppose in normal representation see I am taking here normal in normal combination what uh, for two variable in normal combination how you are going to write a 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is the way for normal representation <coughs> whereas in gray code in gray code which we are going to use in the k map we will first consider 0 0 next 0 1 next it is 1 1 and then it is 1 0 okay this is the way of representing in gray code okay that means this is as it is 0 0 first number is as it is 0 0 0 0 and here it is 0 1 0 1 as it is but this 1 0 will go down and this 1 1 will go here what do you mean by unit distance code see 0 0 0 0 is shifted into 0 1 that means one number we kept one digit we kept we kept as it is and another digit is changing from 0 to 1 this is only not two digits are changing only one digit is changing at a time that is the meaning of unit distance <coughs> And again, if you see this one and next one, this number is as it is, the second B variable is as it is. <coughs> but
but whereas a variable is changing a variable is changing okay that means it is also having unit distance unit distance b is not changing a is changing here and again if you see the next two numbers a is not changing b, b is changing only one number changes every time that is the way of representing a bool, uh, gray code representation representing a gray code numbers okay uh, of course it may be altered okay this number is 0 this number is 1 but this number is 3 this number is 2 if you take this one normal representation 0 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 in gray code we will be having some exchange between 2 and 3 <clears throat> okay so we are following this gray code representation in the k map remember we follow this gray code representation in the k map now let me explain how to represent a two variable k map by seeing the two variable k map you cannot justify whether we are using the gray code or not but when we are going for the two variable uh, three variable and more than that then definitely you can understand how we are using a gray code <coughs> okay so in two variable k map we will be having four combinations so that's why to represent the four numbers we are taking four blocks Okay, two variable k map is a square box with four columns. Uh, at this corner, we are representing the two variables a and b. a and b. Okay, b varies as 0 and 1. a also varies as 0 and 1. Okay, that means this particular block corresponding to 0, 0, 0 from a side and 0 from b side. And this particular box corresponding to 0, 1. And similarly, this particular box corresponding to, yes, 1, 0. And similarly, this box corresponding to 1, 1. Okay. That means if any table is given to you, any truth table is given to you with a 0, 0, this is the output, 1, 0, 1, 1, this is the output. Then you can directly represent that value in this particular box. Because this particular box representing the uh, uh, that particular number. <coughs> Okay, uh, suppose if you are having the SOP representation, SOP and POS, these are the two representations available in the Boolean equations. I told you already, SOP is nothing but sum of products, sum of products, and POS is nothing but product of sums. In SOP, in SOP, this particular column, first column, okay, I am taking the numbers, this is, okay, 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3 <clears throat> okay now 0 is represented as <coughs> 0 is represented as 0 is represented as how a bar b bar a bar b bar this is the representation of the first box and similarly 1 first box is represented as 0 1 means a bar and B. Second box is represented as A, B bar. That means wherever we are having 0, there it is bar. If we are having 1, that is in true form. And 3 is represented as A, B because both are 1s. Hope you understand. Suppose if you are going for the POS representation, product of sums representation, see this is sum of products. This is sum of products. So we have to write in terms of products first. And if you are having more than two min terms, then we are using plus in between them. But whereas POS is product of sums, first you need to write in terms of in terms of sums. Later you are going to product them. But here you are giving priority. Here we are giving priority in SOP to one logic one. Remember, this concept is very important because POS is completely opposite with the case of SOP. So, here the priority we are giving priority to the logic 0. That means 0 is the max term here. 0 is the hero here. Here 1 is the hero. Okay, If 1 is there, then we have to represent that value in true form. But here 0 is there means that value in true form. 1 means complement form. That is the way. Suppose, for example, how you are going to represent that 0 value here. 0 means 
a is complete a is in well a value is 0 b value is 0 but 0 is here we are giving priority priority means true form so it is a plus b a plus b check a is 0 b is 0 a is 0 0 means here priority we have to give in the pos so it is a and plus b a plus b because it is a product of sums and 1 is represented as a plus b is 1 so b bar 2 is represented as a bar plus b and 3 is represented as a bar plus b bar a bar plus b bar if you at least remember how to represent this the k map representation minimization using k map is very very easy minimization using k map is very easy okay uh, for example for example you are having a truth table with variables a comma b two inputs and output some f 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so it is 1 0 1 1 now how to represent that suppose for the same example let us write both the pos and sop expressions okay uh, see let us write first sop form you have to decide which one is you are going to be asked okay sum of products first you need to write product that means what is the uh, which is the value we need to consider in the output one logic one you need to concentrate logic zero you can leave okay so that means sum of I mean, in terms of c this is one this is two uh, this is three zero two three these are the min terms you can also write like this zero 1 is 0 so 0 1 0 2 3 take the k map so a b 0 1 0 1 so 0 0 means it is 1, one 0 1 means it is 0 and remaining 2 are 1s okay how can you represent this how can you map this mapping is very important wherever you are having ones together you should map that okay if there is no one neighbor side neither side then you can take that map alone suppose take this example in this example you are having one and the neighbor one is this one okay you cannot map diagonally you can map either horizontally or vertically so these two are mapped together these two are mapped together and it produces one t one min term okay this produces one min term the min term corresponding to this particular mapping is see here on the left hand side a is having zero one combination a is also having one as another combination you cannot take a common combination from these two because a one time you are having it as zero one time you are having it as one so you cannot take it and uh, b side you are having only one variable so b bar directly you can take b bar and one more one is here you cannot leave you are not permitted to leave any one alone so this one must be mapped with this one these two are mapped together this one this one these two are mapped okay because you some may think that this one is already mapped with another one can we map this or not yes you can you can map with one number with any numbers until you get a minimum reduction but you no need to map again and again okay i will tell in examples you can see such cases also and what is the representation for this one what is the representation for this one this is for this one okay what is the representation for this one see you are having b 0 1 so you cannot take b as common so a is having one so it is a so f is equal to one min term is a another min term is 
b bar so the expression for this one the minimum reduced expression for this one is a plus b bar a plus b bar now for the same can you do max terms p wise sum of products are known as min terms product of sums are known as max terms <coughs> that means pi of m of how many zeros are there only one zero that is one one here you are going to map zeros not ones in p wise the discrimination you should understand okay a b 0 1 0 1 here only at one place we are having one min term one max term remaining are ones okay once we don't have any priority now just you are having priority with this zero zero if you map if you map this zero this zero see there are other there are no other zeros to map that's why you can map this zero alone if any zero is there in the k map then you can map but if as you, you don't have any other zeros here you can map a single zero now this zero is having zero on the a side and one on the b side but in the pos form you have to take zero as true form and one as complement form that's why the expression for this one is for this max term it is a a and another term this is b this is b bar so the expression is a into b bar a into b bar is the <coughs> expression for the first one a into b bar or a this one is a uh, a plus b bar a plus b bar so this is a plus b bar okay this is product of sums you have you are going to write the expression in terms of sum if any other combination is there that will be in product okay this is the expression for p voice okay so finally what we have learned in the k in k map in k map suppose you are going to map sops for sops if you are having one here one here you cannot map okay you have to map individually individually you need to map individually we have to map and if you are having one here one here then you can map like this okay if you are having one here to here you can map like this vertical mapping horizontal mapping is allowed but diagonal mapping is not possible okay so this is about two variable k map in the next video i will start three variable k map thank you